Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Go ahead and take it in because Production Central 2.0 is about to get a bit of a facelift. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready to see? <sighs> Check it out. Brand new bookcase display all the models really cool sign right there which I know I keep promoting these signs but man they are freaking awesome and you can customize them like that's our vet Ruski logo they have logos already done I mean you can send them a picture and have them do whatever you want so check it out dope neons with look we got the rustler the clodbuster and yeah it's up on the box because this thing is so heavy it likes like flat spot the tires but with the hot shot, the frog, I got some RC parts, I now have all my chargers and remote controls and everything in one place. You know, I had these uh, cars that were kind of hidden over here. So now I got everything rearranged. Look at my bookcase cleaned up. I had some books from college that I was keeping for whatever reason. So I'm just getting rid of those things. Still got a little organization to do in here. I had this bin right here. I had three drawers that I keep a lot of electronic stuff in. I have to find a home for it back over here somewhere. So, still a little work in progress. But uh, this is what I wanted. Like, I love this the way it's staggered. It's what I wanted. Something like that to display everything. <laughs> Today, I need to do a tune up on the X Max. On our reveal drive, it was wet, rainy, and I got a lot of sand and stuff in the joints. So I need to try to fit it on this workbench the best that I can. Get some work done to it. Get some of that sand cleaned out of the joints. And in order to do that, I need every inch of this. So that means we have got to move this AC bed. to the floor and now we have all this space open which I need for this beast to fit now look at that this little work I got fits it actually holds this thing up nicely look the uh, bottom of the egg max is actually like a v-shaped so that actually holds it quite nicely look at that hell yeah this space is gonna work out great for working on stuff like this Check it out, I got a whole box of uh, goodies of stuff that are going on the X-Max and the Rustler. We got some stuff that we'll be doing, but check it out. Already got some uh, extra parts and stuff sitting here. We got this little tool thing here. It was bolted up here. For some reason, it was upside down. Um, but yeah, so I got some tools and that we're gonna be putting here. We also got this great work space, so. Um, what I need to do is, if you can hear it, maybe you can hear it, hear that? What I'm thinking is, right here, these CV joints, I'm thinking there's a lot of sand or something I got in there, because I'm looking online, seeing what people think, and, uh, they're thinking that's just the uh, CV joints need, need oiling, because I... Drove it in the rain, drove it through a lot of water, and then all that sand. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the tire off, and then you loosen the knuckle, and then uh, you take the pin out, like the upper arm, this thing will drop down. I can get the CV joints out, and then we can go ahead and clean all that. So hopefully that will take care of that. Um, it's all sealed bearings, so it shouldn't be in any bearings, but it's just kind of bothering me. I've actually ridden this, drove this thing once, and it's 
making some noise, but yeah, get to try out the new shop. I'm excited, man. Look at the look, the X Max. The vehicle was too big for me to unbox here at home. <laughs> Cause I'm golly, look at the size of the box. Matter of fact, oh nah, never mind. Uh uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and uh work on this and i'll check back in with you later so i'd turn the ac off so you guys could hear me but i'm gonna go ahead and kick that back on and get to work and i got everything done but still making that noise maybe it's a differential in there because it's only when i all right, let's try this again. <laughs> so without the battery dying. Yeah, I had to go inside and get a fresh battery. Sorry about that. But um, I don't even remember where I left off, but I think I was talking about like maybe it's the center differentials creaking a little bit. Maybe they just have to break in. I don't, I don't know. But anyhow, I, I feel better about it. I got it cleaned up, got all that sand out of there. I put a little dry lube in there. It shouldn't attract any dirt, but we got it all cleaned up. And everything was going good until I got to the third wheel. <laughs> when you take this off, back behind the wheel, there's this, uh, a hex nut. It's plastic, and there's an E-clip on there. Uh, the first two, you know, came off, and it, it held in there pretty good. Just pulled them off. You know, I popped them with a screwdriver and just pulled them off. Man, that third one, <laughs> everywhere. Man, it sounded like a pinball game in here. Just wouldn't stop bouncing off of stuff, so... I have no idea where it is. I have no idea. So, I'm going to have to go to the Traxxas website and find the part number and order a couple of them. Be good to have them on hand. <laughs> so the wife doesn't understand why I want to have extra parts on hand in case something breaks. You know, it's like you, you're driving around and you, you know you break a an arm break one of these tie rods you know just the common things that that break and yeah you could go out there and break it but what if you spend two hours driving to a park to go run the rc you break it and now what you gotta go home i'd rather have a, a variety of parts which i have some stuff here i can't wait to show you what i got some of its improvements like hop up parts others is just gonna be spares and i got some other cool stuff i'm just waiting on the post office to uh ever decided if it wants to deliver my one package priority mail package um it was shipped out with several little first class packets all from the same rc company yeah that priority mail package is amongst the missing it went to memphis tennessee and decided never wanted to leave so uh, as soon as i get that package i'll uh, come back in here and unveil un unveil unveil Whatever. <laughs> All the uh, parts I have for this and the rustler. Well, she took to the new RC car fairly well. Maybe she's just giving up fighting and everything. She just walked in the bedroom. Oh my god, what is that thing? Can it get any bigger? I said, let me check. Let me check on that. Really? That's what I'll be doing? local stuff and no desire to go to the store and mingle with people. Oh man, I wish you had seen her face when she walked in the bedroom. I have it up there. It's like, oh. That was pretty awesome. Alright everyone, to the wall. And Production Central 2.0 is done. Y'all want to see? You want to see? Check it out. I know uh, you had a little 
taste of it earlier, but it's complete now. So um, all these model cars down here, stuff that my mom gave me. If you've been around for me, you know she's no longer with me. So it's kind of special. It used to be over here. So I was able to get them off of there and get this shelf cleaned up. You notice some of these things here used to hang on the wall. So now I got them over there. Kind of like the same thing over here. These white things used to be hanging on the side of this bookcase. So I, I moved them. I, I like it over there. But um, Moving up, we have all the remotes for the current cars we're using. Here's where all the batteries go. Right now, these are on the charger, but they, they'll they stay stored here. I got a ton of uh, rechargeable batteries for the remotes. This is just a little eye candy. It's just some extra motors and my little tiny drone there. So, you know, we got our custom Vetruski sign. We got the uh, hot shot. Got the claw buster look at that it's kind of like hanging over sitting on the custom 4x4 mount same thing with the um rustler here it's on a custom 4x4 mount so you know kind of overhangs a little bit it's kind of cool I like the way that looks a couple of these signs we had to relocate but they're they're still here um got my atlas 6x6 got the frog so here's the chargers so we have here is um Right now, I have to run two chargers. Uh, the single one that charges two batteries is, isn't is available. It's back order for like another month or two. And I will get it. It's pretty cool. It's Bluetooth, so I can read what the cells are doing. So when that's available, I'll get rid of these two. And just have the one charger here. Um, I had the smaller charger here because the, uh, the uh, Russell only uses a three cell. And then I have a battery charger here for the... Um, to my stuff for these cars so check it out what i did is i put these on a separate uh, switch so that way i don't have these things powered up all the time right drawing power so what i can do is just come over here kill the power to those and it's not gonna be drawing a bunch of power oh, look at that beast look at that thing even a 4x4, when you get the tires off, I had to screw another 2x4 on top of that. So, um, got that done. I cleaned out. Like I said, I got rid of a lot of the old school books. Um, I kept a couple of my uh, law books. Never know when I need to dig back into that stuff. These are some classic uh, Time Life home repair books my dad gave me. So, I'm going to keep them. Some of these books here my mom gave me. And these encyclopedias from the year I was born. So it's pretty cool. There's pictures and stuff in there, and they're often like the year I was born. So it's pretty cool. That was Google back in, you know, the, the 70s. So, and then, uh, you know, I got I got this cleaned up. Got some stuff. Like I said, these cars used to be over here. So I was able to clean this up a bit. Uh, I got rid of a bunch of stuff that used to be in this closet. So some things got moved into there. We got our cool Yeti sign. Um, I added a shelf here. Put some old camera stuff there but my three bins i was worried about i got all that there it's got a lot of electronic cables and stuff there so <sighs> getting worn out just trying to give you a preview of my room <laughs> but yeah oh, i love it man i love it look at how cool that is look at how cool i am happy with that and I really don't think I'm going to get any more RC cars. And if I did, I could probably squeeze one more Rustler size one up there. And probably like a small one. But no, I think that's it. I think I'm, I'm good to go on the RC cars. I don't think see me buying anything else. I'm just going to try to maintain and run what I got. Whew. All right, man, yeah, I'm happy. I, I like it. Hopefully uh, you like it too. Thank you.